In this session, we're going to talk about theme development from a standpoint outside of child themes. You could consider them parent themes or simply standalone themes. The first thing we're going to talk about is the idea of building a theme really from scratch. It's extremely rare for anyone to do this anymore because there's so much excellent code out there to start from that will save you time. If you really wanted to start from scratch, you would have to rethink all the ideas about template files, CSS files, JavaScript files, archives, singles, pages, posts, and writing code to render all of them properly. The page we're looking at here is the WordPress Codex theme development area, and it has all the instructions to do just that if you wish it. Here in the table of contents, you can see they talk about the anatomy of a theme, style sheet, the functions file, all the template files, all the different things you need to do in a template, JavaScript, your screenshot, your theme options, the testing, then there are the coding standards, design standards, how to release it, and all that stuff. If you want a new theme that is not a child theme, it's much easier to pick a theme that's already similar and change its name and edit it to be what you want. Let's do that real quick. Here's our themes folder. There's the OS training theme that we created, the Startbox theme, then there are 2011 and 2010. Those are produced by Automatic, the people who make WordPress. 2010 and 2011 are quite similar. Let's start using 2010 in our theme. There, now we're using 2010. Let's see what our site looks like. It's not too bad. It doesn't follow our design at all, but there we are. Now let's say we wanted to make a brand new theme. All we have to do is copy 2010. We'll just give it a new name. That doesn't really matter. The name of the folder doesn't have any implications, but it makes it easier to know what's in there. Then we'll edit style.css and we'll rename it. There, now we have a new CSS file. Let's go back to our site. Now here we have OS Training 2. It still has the 2010 screenshot. We could change that if we wished. But we'll activate it. Now our page shouldn't look any different at all because we haven't really changed the theme at all. But now we have a fully functioning theme with all the template files pre-made for us. The code is all solid, and at the time of this copying, there are no known security problems. It has all the functionality of the theme that we copied it from, and it's just ready to go. So as you can see, copying one is much, much faster than creating a new one from scratch. In other sessions, we'll look at how to edit these files to really change the theme to be what we want.